It's your boy Big Baby. Ah. Support sporting icons for latest boxing news. Cheeseburger. Now I'm gonna use this video to hopefully reach out to some Wilder fans out there because I don't want people to have the impression that I dislike Wilder fans because I don't. I have a lot of subs who are Wilder fans, okay? And we have like little debates and everything's cool, okay? It only kind of doesn't get cool when Wilder fans kind of like attack me. I mean, all I do is I put out the news, I give my opinion, you guys have your opinion. Everything should be fine with that, but to attack me personally, no good. And Wilder fans have a little habit of always mentioning you UK fans, you UK fans, and you Anthony Joshua. I mean, it's ridiculous. So what I'm hoping to do in this video is hopefully grab your attention and kind of realize, or hopefully kind of salvage some of your natural born common sense. You know, when everybody's born, you know, that thing between your ears, your brain, you know, it's an innocent mind, right? And somewhere along the lines, you kind of get lost and you get roped in to some kind of brainwashing or people will attempt it. And there are a lot of wilder fan channels out there. Some of them are pretty good, right? Some of them are honest and they're open, but some of them will just try and brainwash you and everything's negative, negative, negative. And that's no good for you because wilder has a very, very bad reputation. Now, for me, it's good that you support wilder. Like, it's good people support Joshua, people support Tyson Fury, people uh, support Klitschko, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, and so on. Okay, people need rivalry. It makes boxing a little interesting. Okay, so what I'm hoping is that you haven't been brainwashed completely. And I'm kind of hoping at the end of this video that some of you guys who are Wilder fans will actually put down a comment to say, listen, we get it. We do understand exactly what you're saying. And yes, it does appear that Wilder, or at least it's not looking good, that Wilder appears to be, have just using Anthony Joshua's name. So bear with me, okay? I'm gonna try and simplify it for you. But unfortunately, I know there are haters out there anyway. They won't even get to this point in the video. That's kind of how bad they are. So anyway, I'm just hoping that you haven't been brainwashed completely. So what I want, some of you to do is kind of see the light that you've been lied to by a lot of wilder channels as in they will hate on aj constantly calling him a ducker saying that he's ducking wilder he's ducking everybody he ain't done anything okay and i know they're telling you things that you want to hear i get it i know what the narrative is okay i know what it is that they are doing okay i mean they're getting that arrogant with it because they're finding it quite easy to brainwash you that they're starting to believe in their own minds that they now run boxing. Some YouTube channels run boxing. So Eddie Hearn, um, Al Heyman, everybody listens to them and goes with what they say, right? It doesn't work like that in the real life, but it's just in their little minds. That's what they believe, okay? So anyway, today, Eddie Hearn... Um, I've seen two interviews today, one IFL, one on the seconds out. And I encourage you to go listen to them, okay? When you finish with this video, obviously drop yourself a comment below, click the thumbs up, subscribe, all that kind of jazz. But go watch the IFL and seconds out interviews with Eddie Hearn. Now, of course, you probably don't like Eddie Hearn. Why? Because these other channels keep on, they hate Eddie Hearn. Why? Because they have a racist agenda. Okay, first of all, he's the wrong colour for them. And second of all, he's not American. So they don't want him in their country. They don't want him doing anything, everything that he does, he's a snake, he's a liar, all that kind of thing. Even though the reality is everything that he has said, he has fulfilled. I'm not saying it's all consistent, not at all. I've pulled up Eddie Hearn on a couple of things before. Okay, but the progression for Joshua has been the same. If anything, he's ahead of schedule, going for undisputed in Joshua's 22nd fight. This was not the plan. Okay, this was the plan for 25 fights time. Okay, this was the kind of plan. But anyway, so in these interviews, Eddie Hearn has been using my words, the same words that I've been saying for quite a long time. And yeah, so Eddie Hearn, very, very clearly, because nobody else talks the way that I do, right? But clearly he's been watching my stuff. No, he doesn't give me any kind of acknowledgement, anything like that. He doesn't even follow me on Twitter. 
that's how ungrateful he is, right? So, anyway, Eddie Hearn, you owe me. And stop using my words, by the way, even though I'm using your name for videos. But that's beside the point. So, anyway, Eddie Hearn said that one of the reasons why he believes he hasn't heard back from Team Wilder is because Team Wilder have always had the plan to fight Dominic Brazil next. Now, this is not something new. Okay, he just repeated what he's been saying for the past couple of months, that there's a plan for Wilder to fight Brazil. Now, ordinarily, that's a fight that may, may make you go, eh, it's all right. You know, it's not the best fight in the world, but they do have that bit of history. Because when Wilder fought Gerald Washington in Alabama, Dominic Brazil for Izzy Ogonu on the undercard in arguably one of the best fights. It was an awesome fight. It was only a five rounder, but if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It had everything in that fight. It was absolutely fantastic. Anyway, Dominic Brazil had a bit of an altercation with Deontay Wilder's brother. Things kicked off. Go read about it. I'm not going to waste too much time talking about it. So either way, there's a bit of history there. But also Wilder said he doesn't want to fight Dillian White because that's Anthony Joshua's leftovers. But yet Dominic Brazil is Anthony Joshua's previous opponent who he fought in his, was it 16th fight? Maybe 17th? 16th, I think it was. Yeah, 16th fight. When Anthony Joshua had, what, glandular fever. Won every single round and stopped him in round number seven. This is the guy who Wilder wants to fight next. But he doesn't want Joshua's leftovers in Dillian White. But this is what Dominic Brazil is. Okay. So... The problem is with Wilder as well is that he's got too many managers. You know, he's got um, Shelley Finkel, um, Al Heyman as his advisor, Jay Diaz. He's got quite a few of them, okay? Lou DiBella's floating around somewhere like a bad habit, okay? Um, he's done a crap job of promoting him. The Wilder channels have done a crap, jo crap job of promoting him. In fact, I was talking about Deontay Wilder. Now, my channel is only, what, 14, 15 months old? I was talking about Wilder before they were i made him famous in the uk not them okay but either way he has a lot of managers and a lot of people giving him a bad reputation they're not helping him at all not even coming close to it so of course when he gets offered the 12 and a half million flat fee He's got to counter into the fact that all these managers all have a different opinion that they don't want to work together and they all have their own agenda and yes, they are all white people, right? Much like Deontay Wilder said that Eddie Hearn, the white man, is milking the black man in Anthony Joshua. That's what his guys are trying to do. Shelley Finkel, Lou DiBella, and all these kind of guys are trying to milk Deontay Wilder. Unfortunately, his udders are pretty dry. You know, he, he's not producing milk. He's not lactating milk. He's producing powdered milk, okay? I'm kind of presuming that you have powdered milk over in America. I'm sure you do. So anyway, and much like Wilder, he's always talking about Joshua. Have you noticed he's been talking about Joshua, 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 ever since Joshua beat Vladimir Klitschko, even though he praised Joshua for doing so. But yet, the very next day or two, he, when, he, when he flew back to Alabama, started doing his social media talk, and Anthony Joshua beat an old man, and, and he's been using Joshua's name. Okay, but each time Joshua doesn't have a fight penciled in, he goes very quiet. Joshua then has a fight penciled in. He then raises himself up and, st and starts talking about Joshua. Okay, this is what happens. But have you noticed, even now, that Anthony Joshua has approached Deontay Wilder to have a fight? Let's do it next. That's what I'm saying. The fight is next. Okay? You said that it's not about money, but it's about legacy. When a champion... By the way, go check out the previous video to this one. And you actually hear Wilder saying this to himself. Or by himself, I should say, that when a champion calls you out, you accept the challenge. It's not about money. Wilder's own words. So let's use his words to hold him accountable, right? So he's gone very quiet. Have you noticed? Every time Joshua doesn't have a fight next, he goes very, very quiet. And eventually what's going to happen is, Team AJ is going to go, you know what, I've had enough, I'm going to walk away, we have to sort out our WBA mandatory in Povetkin. They've got three weeks left to finalise this fight with Povetkin. If not, he's going to get stripped. So this is why there's a bit of a rush with Wilder, even though an offer went in a week and a half ago, and they haven't heard a single thing back. 
Not one thing back, not even a, we don't like that deal, make us another one. Nothing, literally nothing. This is how serious Wilder is about the fight. It takes a week and a half to look at this 12 and a half million and go, yeah, I'm not happy about that. If you're not happy about it, at least say you're not happy about it, right? At least tell Eddie Hearn and Joshua, I'm not happy about this deal. But nothing, they've gone very, very quiet, like a church mouse. So, Wilder, ordinarily, when Joshua's got a fight coming up, he will keep on talking about his name, and he's been saying some outrageous stuff. You know, the whole UK are racist. It's a country of racists. Everything's about racism with Wilder. And this is an unfortunate truth. I mean, maybe this kind of thing is deemed acceptable in America, but over here it's not. Okay? But, you know, he, he has criminal behaviour. He's been done twice for doping dope um smoking weed whatever it is I, mean, I don't do that stuff but he's been caught twice for that so he's got a criminal record whether you think weed should be legal or, or illegal is kind of irrelevant but facts are it is illegal and he's been caught twice for that he strangled a prostitute he says he wants a body on his resume so much stuff and also that racism it is ridiculous he's been permanently goading anthony joshua insanely golden him insulting him doing everything yet he wants a huge payout doesn't work like that does it you know i know they're rivals they're not supposed to get on but you know there's kind of a line you shouldn't cross and wilder crossed that line well and truly and not only that his fan channels have been helping him cross that line hugely now eddie Hearn confirmed it was in fact 12.5 million dollars flat fee and you could say, well, it's a $100 billion fight. He's being lowballed. Right, listen. The $12.5 million is double what Parker got. You could say, yeah, but percentage. Okay, right. He's getting double what Joseph Parker got. Joseph Parker had one belt. John Ty Wilder has one belt. Doesn't matter if it's WBC. It's still one belt. It's still one quarter of Undisputed. Okay? He's been offered $12.5 million dollars. At double what Parker got. Charles Martin got a flat fee of four million. John Tay Wilder is getting eight and a half million dollars more than Charles Martin. This twelve and a half million dollars is six times his highest ever payday. Do you understand? It's six times higher. Ask any other boxer right now if you're being offered six times your highest ever payday. Now bearing in mind. His highest payday was his last fight and his 40th fight against Luis Ortiz, 2.1 million. Okay. If he goes and fights Brazil, do you think he'll get 2.1 million? Nope. He won't. He'll get somewhere between one, one and a half million to fight Dominic Brazil. And the only reason that he fought Luis Ortiz was because Showtime forced him into it. You don't have to, uh, like, believe me, ask Steven Espinosa. You know who he is, right? You guys in America. Ask him if I'm lying. Okay, so that's why he fought Luis Ortiz. He had no choice but to fight Luis Ortiz. Okay, but he got paid 2.1 million, pretty decent money, right? It's not bad. But there's other fighters in America who get paid more than he does, like Errol Spence Jr. He got 3.5 million for his last fight. But anyway, 12.5 million, six times more money than he's ever been um, paid in his life. Ask any other boxer out there if we were to pay you six times more money than your highest ever fee to go fight someone a bantamweight will go fight a heavyweight for six times more money than they've ever made in their life but yet wilder who says it's not about money it's about legacy when a champion calls you out you accept that challenge i want the best for first the best i want to find out who's the best undisputed i promise you i love my fans all that kind of stuff so here it is and he hasn't even responded for six times more money than you've ever been offered in your life now, Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua approached Deontay Wilder, okay? You have to remember this, they approached Wilder. Team Wilder did not approach Team AJ, okay? So for the Wilder fan channels to say that Joshua is ducking, how can he be ducking when he is the one approaching? If he didn't want the fight, he wouldn't approach, right? He would offer something like, you know what, we're going to double your highest payday. And I'm going to double mine, because that's fair, right? Whatever I earn, I'm going to double. Whatever you earn, you're going to double. But he's not doing that. 
he's giving Wilder six times more money than he's ever earned in his life. They haven't even responded. So now Eddie Hearn, he's got a show on April 28th in New York, at the Brook, uh, uh, in Brooklyn, is it? And for Danny Jacobs, Jaron Miller, those kind of guys. And guess what? He's going to meet up with Team Wilder and face to face to try and get this deal done. And as far as I know, I think Joshua's going to go with them as well. So they are trying to make this fight, but clearly Wilder is not. He really, really isn't. So let's just put some things into context. There's, there's a rumor it's a $100 million fight. It's not a $100 million fight, okay? It could have been a $100 million fight if Wilder had stepped up beforehand, okay? It's not about the fact that he's a black man. It's not about the fact that he's American. It's about the fact he hasn't stepped up. If you step up and take on the best around you, then they will come. They will start come to support you. People will look at the TV. People will want to pay the pay-per-view, buy the merchandise, buy into you, okay? Not just rely on people like me to make you famous on YouTube. It shouldn't be that way, okay? But this is the reality of it. So it's not a $100 million fight, not even close, okay? Um, Klitschko and Joshua, that was between 40 and 50 million that made. And Parker was about 30 million. Okay, so how is this a $100 million fight? It's not. Okay, it really, really isn't. Wilder can't even sell out the Barclay Center of 19,000. He had 14,000 in there, 5,000 of which, I'm led to believe, were giveaways to like charities and things like that, which is fine. Um, apparently that's what they always do, so that is what it is. But either way, this is a fight between 40 and 50 million. Maybe around about the same as what the Klitschko fight was. Maybe a little bit more, maybe. Now, let me try and do a little bit of math for you, okay? Let's try and do a bit of mathematics for you, okay? So it's a 40 to 50 million dollar fight. We're gonna say 50 million. Just to be generous here, okay? So Wilder takes 12 and a half million out of the 50 million, that would leave a maximum 37 and a half million. Now this is all money generated by Joshua, okay? He had to get the sponsors, Sky Sports, and all these kind of things to fund this event, right? So 37 and a half million left after they pay Wilder. Now Joshua will usually get about 20 million dollars, okay? For fighting Klitschko before, then Takam, Parker. So let's just say he doesn't take any more money than 20 million. You see, he can go fight Pavetkin and get 20 million, but he's not allowed to make more than that against Wilder because Wilder's asking for so much money. So let's just say Joshua gets 20 million. So out of the 37.5 million left, Joshua gets 20 million. That leaves 17.5 million. Now, of course, Joshua will be getting a little bit more. It's undisputed. Okay, so he should get a bit more. If Wilder is allowed to six times his highest payday, why is Joshua not allowed to even double his? It's not even a a half, really, is it? He may get 25 million to fight Wilder. So he's up to his by 5 million, while Wilder is up to his by 10.5 million. Do you see what I mean? Um, so even then, 17.5 million, even if he just gets his regular... Poor little Joshua, right? Only 20 million. But even if he only gets 20 million, 17 and a half million, that would be to fund the event. As in Wembley Stadium, he's got to pay to book it. He's got to pay Eddie Hearn. He's got to pay his managers, his trainers, all his staff. He's got to pay around about 5 million to Povetkin to step aside. He's got to pay all the sanctioned body fees as well. And put on a very decent undercard. It's going to be quite hard pushed, but yet Joshua, he's not allowed to make more than 20 million because Wilder wants more. So if Wilder takes more than 12 and a half, do you see the final pot decreases? But it's not about money, it's about legacy, right? So as I said, it could have been a $100 million fight had Wilder actually stepped up beforehand, but no, he never did. Even his own manager, Shelley Finkel, who's now talking for him, um, said when he won the title on 33 fights and there's record of it, you can go find it Deontay Wilder is still a baby he's still a prospect he should not be rushed into unification or taken on the big fights on 33 fights when, as he's a champion do you understand where everything's going with this? so a $12.5 million flat fee is not a low ball this is more money than Joshua's ever paid out to 
any other opponent, any other. Maybe Klitschko may have got a bit more, maybe. But Klitschko has been around for years. Former unified heavyweight champion for a, a decade. So outside of Klitschko, Wilder would be the highest paid opponent that Joshua has ever paid. So, But no, Joshua has to take 20 million to fight Wilder because Wilder wants so much more than 12 and a half million. When Joshua can just go fight Pervekin for 20 million, go fight Jaron Miller for 20 million, go fight Dillian White for 20 million. Do you see what I mean? So Joshua is not allowed to increase his purse, but Wilder is. Do you understand? But you know what? It's Wilder. He talks a lot on social media saying it's not about money. He just wants the best first the best. So you're being offered 12 and a half million for undisputed. If you beat Joshua, you then become the A side, okay? You not only get your 12 and a half million again in a rematch, but so much more. Double it. What Joshua's getting right now, you'll probably be getting in the rematch. And the rematch will be bigger than what this fight is right now. So as I said, go check out the previous video if you're unsure whether or not I'm lying about Deontay Wilder saying, it's not about the money. We don't care about the money. We just want the best first to best. He just wants to be undisputed. That's all he cares about. Now hopefully, as I said, there's some, some of you guys out there right now, you haven't been totally brainwashed. Hopefully that there's still something a little bit salvageable. Hopefully. But anyway, hopefully now you kind of see the light and realise that this 10 year pro career that Wild has had, 40 fights, never really stepped up. It's a little embarrassing for you. He's the best that you have to offer. That's not good. That is not good at all. And I said, Team Joshua, they will walk away because they only have three weeks left for the WBA mandatory situation. Povetkin all gets stripped. So he could end up fighting John Ted Wilder, but it won't be for Undisputed. Guess what that means? Even less money because it's not about Wilder. It's about the fact it's for Undisputed. It's not Wilder. It's the WBC belt. That's there. It's the WBO. It's the IBF. It's the WBA. It's all of it. Josh was bringing three of those belts. Wilder's only bringing one. Yeah, yeah you could say percentage-wise, if this fight was to make 40 to 50 million, you do the math. It's not being low-balled. Anyway, hopefully some of you guys understand. On this video, is a bit long. I do apologise, so... Anyway, drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up. Stop letting these people brainwash you. Stop letting Wilder brainwash you. Realise what he's done. Open your eyes. Have a look. It's there for you to see. 10 years, 45, it's never done anything. Why is that? Why is he talking about Joshua for so long? And Joshua is the one who reaches out to Wilder. And says, we're going to give you six times more money than you've ever had in your life, but you don't want it. What's wrong with you? Are you starting to see Wilder is only using Joshua's name for profile? And you are allowing these people to brainwash you. Hopefully, you haven't been brainwashed completely. And hopefully, you're going to claw some of it back. Ultimately, we need the fight to happen, right? And now it's all in Wilder's hands. Does it really take a week and a half? If you had a contract given to you, does it take a week and a half for you to think about it? To at least say, you know what, I'm not happy about that. Give me 15 million. Or I want a percentage. At least respond with something. But do you see? He's ducking Anthony Joshua. He doesn't really want that fight. He doesn't believe that he's going to beat him. He doesn't truly believe it. If he did, he would take the 12 and a half million. Beat him. Become undisputed heavyweight champion of the world and be the A-side in the rematch. But no, he wants Dominic Brazil. That's always been the plan. He ducked it in white. Now he's ducking Anthony Joshua. Unless proven otherwise, unless he signs his contract with Anthony Joshua, I'm sorry people, but let's state the obvious here. Dante Wilder has ducked Anthony Joshua. Hopefully you guys are going to see sense now. And stop letting people brainwash you and lie to you. Hopefully. But anyway, drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you next video.